Today, I'm going to show you the most insane ChatGPT update ever. ChatGPT can now connect to your apps and actually do things. We're talking Stripe, Slack, your databases, everything. This is bigger than GPT-4 was. I'll show you exactly how it works and why it's kind of scary. Plus, I'll demo it live so you can see the power yourself. OpenAI just dropped something called MCP support into ChatGPT, and most people have no idea what this means. Here's what just happened. ChatGPT got a superpower. It can now read from and write to your apps, not just talk about them, actually connect to them and do stuff. Think about this for a second. Before this update, ChatGPT was like a really smart person locked in a room with no internet. Now, it's like that smart person got admin passwords to all your business tools. Let me explain what MCP actually is. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. Think of it as USB-C for AI. Just like how USB-C lets you plug any device into any port, MCP lets any AI model plug into any app or service. Before MCP, if you wanted ChatGPT to work with Stripe, someone had to build a custom integration, then another one for Slack, another one for your database. With MCP, it's plug and play, one standard protocol that works everywhere. OpenAI just added developer mode to ChatGPT. This is a beta feature right now. And what it does is let ChatGPT actually connect to remote MCP servers. What does that mean? It means ChatGPT can now read your data and perform actions across external services, real actions with real consequences. Let me give you examples. You can ask ChatGPT to check your Stripe balance and create an invoice all in one conversation. You can tell it to search your company documents, find a contract and create a GitHub pull request with updates. You can have it manage your Slack channels, respond to customers and update your CRM all automatically. This isn't some future concept. This is live right now. But here's the thing. Security experts are calling this powerful but dangerous. And they're right. When you give an AI the ability to actually do things in your systems, you're opening up risks. We're talking about token exposure, prompt injection attacks, and unintended rights to your database. If someone tricks your chat GPT into deleting your customer data, that's a big problem, but the potential is too big to ignore. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna do this safely with a sandbox environment. I've got a sandbox MCP server running, no real API keys, no real data, no real consequences. First, I connect ChatGPT to my MCP server. In developer mode, there's a connectors interface where you add custom MCP servers. Now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to list some sample invoices from my sandbox Stripe account. I type, show me my recent invoices, and boom, ChatGPT is now fetching data directly from the MCP server. It's not just talking about invoices, it's actually looking them up and showing me real data. Now here's where it gets interesting. I'm gonna ask it to create a new invoice. Create an invoice for Julie and Goldie for $1,000 for SEO consulting. Look what happens. ChatGPT shows me a confirmation prompt first. It's asking me to confirm before it writes anything to the system. This confirmation step is critical. You never want an AI writing to your systems without permission. I click confirm and there it is. ChatGPT just created an invoice in Stripe through the MCP protocol. Now let me show you something even cooler, multi-step actions. I asked ChatGPT to find all invoices over $500 from last month, create a summary report and save it to my documents. Watch this, first it queries the invoices, then it analyzes the data, then it creates a report, then it saves the file all in one conversation. This is what I mean when I say this changes everything. You're not just chatting with AI anymore. You're directing an AI assistant that can execute complex workflows across multiple systems. But with great power comes great responsibility. Most people are not ready for this level of AI integration. Let me tell you about the risks. First, token exposure. If your MCP server isn't secure, your API keys could be compromised. Second, prompt injection, someone could trick ChatGPT into performing actions you didn't intend. Third, unintended rights. AI can make mistakes. If it has right access to your database, those mistakes become permanent. So what do you do? Here are the rules. First, always use least privilege access. Only give ChatGPT the minimum permissions it needs. Second, require explicit confirmation for all right operations. ChatGPT should always ask before changing anything. Third, implement audit logs. You need to track every action ChatGPT takes. Fourth, always test in sandbox environments first. Never deploy directly to production. Now, who can actually use this right now? MCP support in ChatGPT is currently in beta. You need ChatGPT Pro, business or enterprise to access developer mode. If you have access, here's how to get started. First, you need to expose an MCP server endpoint. 
OpenAI has documentation showing exactly how to do this. Second, you register your connector in ChatGPT's developer mode. Third, you test everything in Sandbox. Fourth, you roll out to production with proper security controls. But here's what most people are missing. This isn't just about connecting existing apps. This is about reimagining how work gets done. Right now, your typical worker spends their day switching between dozens of different apps, email, Slack, CRM, spreadsheets, databases. They're constantly copying data from one system to another. With MCP, all of that goes away. You just tell ChatGPT what you want accomplished and it orchestrates everything across all your systems. Your new workflow becomes chat GPT, prepare the monthly sales report, identify the top three leads from last week, schedule meetings with them, and update the forecast in our CRM. And it just happens, all of it, automatically. This is bigger than just productivity improvements. This is a fundamental shift in how humans interact with software. I've been in the digital marketing space for over a decade. I've built a seven-figure agency from the ground up. I've seen how technology disruptions play out. And this feels different. This feels like one of those moments where the world changes overnight, like when the iPhone launched and suddenly every business model became obsolete. MCP could do the same thing to every business that relies on humans to move data between systems, which is basically every business. So what should you do? First, if you're a business owner, start thinking about which processes could be automated with AI agents. Don't wait for competitors to figure this out first. Second, if you're a developer, learn MCP now. This is going to be a massive opportunity. Third, everyone needs to understand the risk. This isn't just another software update. This is giving AI the ability to take actions in the real world. The companies that figure out how to use AI agents safely are going to dominate their industries. The companies that stick their heads in the sand are going to get left behind. For the first time, small businesses have access to automation that used to require enterprise budgets and teams of developers. You can now build AI powered workflows that would have cost hundreds of thousands of dollars just a few years ago. You can compete with massive corporations using creativity and the right AI tools, but you have to act fast. This window won't stay open forever. The big companies are already figuring this out. So here are your next steps. If you have ChatGPT Pro or Enterprise Access, enable developer mode today. Start experimenting with safe, sandbox, MCP connections. If you don't have access yet, start planning. Identify workflows in your business that involve copying data between systems. Those are your first targets for AI automation and start thinking like an AI first company. Don't just think about how AI can help with individual tasks. Think about how AI agents can orchestrate entire processes because that's where we're heading. We're moving from AI as a tool to AI as a workforce. The businesses that make that transition successfully are going to have an enormous competitive advantage. Now, the technical barriers to AI implementation are dropping fast, but you still need to understand the fundamentals. You need to know what's possible, what's safe, and what's coming next. You need to move fast. The AI landscape is changing monthly, not yearly. By the time traditional education catches up, the opportunity will be gone. The companies that are already winning with AI aren't the ones with the biggest budgets. They're the ones that started experimenting early and kept iterating. Six months from now, do you want to be the business owner who's already running AI agents? Or do you want to be the one who's just starting to figure out what MCP stands for? The choice is yours, but the window for early adoption is closing fast. So here's my challenge to you. Don't just watch this video and move on. Pick one workflow in your business that could benefit from AI automation, just one. Then figure out how to implement it safely. Start with a sandbox environment, test everything thoroughly, but start. If you want help getting ready, if you want to connect with other business owners who are implementing AI successfully, then I want to invite you to join my AI Profit Boardroom. This is the best place to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds with AI automation. But more than that, I want to give you something that can help you get started right away. Want to make more money with AI? Welcome to the free AI Money Lab with Julian Goldie. Inside, you'll get 50 plus free AI tools and 200 plus chat GPT SEO prompts. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents, get 1000 plus free workflows, see how one member made 10,000 plus with chat GPT, plus a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads free with AI. What you also get is a free AI community, free AI course, and proven AI case studies. This is everything you need to get started with AI in your business, and it's completely free. Thanks for watching. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. If this video helped you understand what's happening with AI right now, hit that subscribe button. The future is happening fast. Make sure you're ready for it.